Power Next, Next Participant, the Tutor, the Master, PhD, CFI, Ethnic Performativity, How People of Color Do Race for the Consumption of White Culture. Actually, my topic is a little different. <laughs> um, what I've been thinking about lately is how people of color go through progressive stages of awareness in terms of their ethnic identity. Whoa, okay. So stage one is what I like to call the babe. Primarily because the babe sounds a lot less insulting than ignoramus, okay? Because this stage is characterized by kind of pre-awareness. For example, when I was a kid, I didn't realize I was Asian. I actually thought I was white. Italian-American specifically, because I so intimately identified with the Fonz from Happy Days. Hey. <laughs> Parenthetically, though the, the pre-awareness of stage one can extend right through adulthood. Uh, for example, if you are a person of color and all your friends are white, then sorry, babe, but chances are people, some people might look down on you, especially if those people are in stage two the militant. Okay. Like Neo waking up in the matrix, suddenly you recognize that structural racism is encoded everywhere. You start using words like hegemony and white privilege. Uh, for my own self, this was a period of my life when I stopped going by my middle name, Hugh, and asked people to use my first name. Tetsuro. And most of my friends during this stage were, were Asian, and I have to confess I did ponder the merits of separatism. Uh, but once you get over the militant antics of stage two militancy, hopefully that molten anger might eventually solidify to the serene equanimity of stage three. The sage. Live and let live. Now here, one is no less aware politically, but there is a comfort and, and a serenity that comes from the realization that there's good and bad in every race. And in the cause of social justice, potential allies are everywhere to be found. Okay, so pretty abstract so far, right? So how does this play out in real life? Okay, so this is how stage one, the babe might handle the question, that classic question, where are you from? Uh, Canada? No, where are you really from? Oh, Vancouver? <laughs> Stage two, where am I from? Hey, my ancestors helped build the railway, okay? How many generations does my family have to be here before I'm no longer subjected to this line of questioning that I find extremely othering? Okay. <laughs> Stage three, the sage. Well, I grew up in Vancouver, but my parents emigrated from Japan. Does that answer your question? Good. Now, where are you from? Thanks very much.